Okay guys, that guy again, back with a new product I got about a week ago. Uh, it's a Black Hawk Wax Canvas Messenger Bag. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on this on SHOT Show and uh, from the manufacturer, but not too many videos from the average guy who has the bag using it. So I'm going to try and go through all these features and details and kind of show you a little bit more in detail about what the bag is about. <clears throat> the first thing is the color of the bag. When you look at the bag online, some of the pictures, uh, the gray specifically, and the, actually they both do, but the gray I can speak to, uh, it looks really light in a lot of pictures, and then some videos it looks really dark. I'm going to say if you're trying to gauge what the color is for the bag, I would lean more towards the, uh, the darker tone. Uh, you know, I would expect to get something a little darker than the nice light pictures they show online. There's nothing wrong with color, it's a gorgeous bag, but... Uh, you know, just like I say, it was hard to gauge the color. I did buy this online, sight unseen. Um, so I, you know, I didn't really know what was going to get until I opened the box. So, first off, the bag, it is a wax canvas bag. It feels great. It feels, you know, when you feel it and you hold it, it feels like it's going to be a pretty solid bag, good quality. quality. Uh, as you look at the bag, you see, though, I don't know if this is going to be an issue or not. I know a lot of people always point out that everything is double stitched or you know box stitched or whatever this whole bag all over every place it's all everything is single stitched on it the only place you'll see any extra stitching I don't think it's gonna come out well on camera but you can see it's got the box stitch with the X in the middle uh, the straps are about the only place you see beefier stitching so the front pocket it is held on is magnet magnetic you can see it's got about a one inch magnet Pretty strong magnet. Um, you know, when it closes, the pouch is pretty secure. And I got keys and stuff in here. Uh, I'm doing this video one handed. I apologize if it's shaky. Uh, in the video, you'll see these fidlock buttons. These are pretty cool. Uh, buckles, rather. Taking them apart in one hand. They are magnetic, so you want to go home. They just drive right in. Uh, the straps are adjustable, so you can have the bag either closed like this, or you can have it so this one's loose and extend the height of the bag some and you can extend it pretty much right up to the edge of the pocket but you can definitely get a, a, a bigger bag for storing bigger things in it you know probably hold a nice uh, one of the full-size mailboxes in it so going off to the side of the bag it does have a, these two straps these two uh, loops here um, now I know in the videos they're trying to bring back the malice clip and make it a little bit more retro So they have pouches that take the malice clip and that's why these are so big because they're made to I'm assuming to hold on to uh, Malice clip pouches and such The strap right here. It is held on with this double velcroed uh, Patch right here. So you just unvelcro it and the strap will come off in the back of the bag There's two loops to get to your uh, a concealed carry pouch is what everyone's calling it but you put your hand in here on both faces the front face and the back face there is loop paneling so you can put a holster or whatever on either side whichever is more comfortable for you uh, it does go all the way through the strap on the top again there's a good spot you can see the uh, box stitch but the strap on top is just a thin piece of uh, it's not nylon I think it's like a cotton cord, much like the uh, the strap is made out of. Uh, going around to the other side of the bag, you can still see again two more pass-throughs loops for uh, the malice clips. The top of the bag does have a zipper. It is reverse stitched or stitched in backwards, so to help prevent water from getting in. The zipper ends in a little pocket right here, so when you zip it in, it helps forget prevent water from getting in that last little bit. This zipper, sorry for the shakiness of the video. That big, that big zipper does open up into the pouch. So you can see, got one big main compartment in here, no pockets, no Velcro, nothing here, just a big main part, compartment. The back here is padded, and inside is a, uh, I guess a laptop compartment. Again, it's got loop on both sides, so you can put holsters and stuff on either face. Um, the very bottom of it does have padding for your laptop, but it's a thin strip uh, width-wise, so your laptop could actually sit, like you see right here, 
right into this little pocket where there's no padding in that corner and there's one on each side so uh, it does help for some protection not the best protection all right let's go inside the bag and the bag is nice and uh, extends up on the inside so when you fold it over you don't have to worry about stuff rolling up uh, falling out of your bag there's one pocket here And you can see, let's get some of that stuff out of the way. You get about a three finger width between the edge of the pocket and the uh, stitched in pockets. They are elastic on top. They're a little bit bigger than, say, like a Leatherman. Uh, you got one big one here, two pen pockets, and then another big one here that's the same size as this one. And again, you got about a three finger space over here. On the front of the pocket, you have two mesh pockets uh, they are from the top all the way down and then from this uh, second zipper all the way down um, they are mesh uh, just really be careful what you put in there I mean if you put bulky stuff it's gonna stretch it out you know you're putting bulky stuff in front of other stuff so uh, but there are two good pockets there so you can get a better shot of it all right. and Moving on, I'm not gonna go through all the items in the bag. A million videos for that. So, a couple drawbacks I had. All right, moving on. So there are one of the couple, one of the problems I found with the bag, or in, well, for me anyway. Uh, one, this shoulder strap could be about four to six inches longer for me. I'm a tall guy though. I'm six four, so a shorter person might not have the problem. But when it's at the full length, with the you know, extend it all the way. I, I would like it to be a little bit, hang a little lower on my body. That being said, this is a quick release buckle or quick adjust buckle. Just tilt it up, you can adjust the strap pretty easily. It's got this nice little looped uh, pull to pull it down nice and tight. Uh, there are some, you know, it's stitched all the way up in, in big patches of loops. Um, but on the other side, you get this mesh, and it's really, for me, I think it's pretty abrasive. It's really rough. Uh, holds the bag in place on your shoulder, prevents it from sliding. But if you were to wear a t-shirt and wear this bag all day, your shoulder would get uh, a little raw from this. I mean, it is pretty abrasive. And also, I don't know if you can hear it. There's a weird, crunchy sound in it. I don't know if it's the mesh or something that's the padding inside the strap. The strap is pretty well padded. It's, it's comfortable uh, in that aspect, but this is just a little too abrasive. Also, when you're when it's on your shoulder, I'm right-handed. I'm right-handed, so it goes on my. I carry the bag on my left shoulder, and when I do that, the bag tends tends to hang at an angle like this. Uh, when I draw it around the front uh, So when it's at this angle And I'm right-handed to get into this pocket at a weird angle if I were to have my gun in here At this angle would be kind of it's, it's very awkward very difficult to get at it So I probably won't carry my gun in here when I carry it if I carry it in the bag I'll carry it, you know in this front part uh, Front pocket here the main compartment now this isn't a bag you're going to use for quick drawing a gun or something like that, but if it's a good way to keep your gun on you if you have like gym shorts on or something like that, uh, where it's, you know, harder to conceal or put a holster on. Uh, but I mean, other than that, that's pretty much the bag. Uh, it is incredible, like I say, this bag in person feels great, looks amazing. Um, you know, the strap is set, like again, the, this strap for me, it's just a little too short. I'm trying to, you know, just replace this part here, remedy, remedy it a little bit. Um, other than that, the bag, like I say, is beautiful. I think it's going to hold up well in spite of the uh, single stitching. I don't really know how big of a deal it's going to be. The inside here, it's not like a nylon. It's just kind of, I don't know what you'd call this material, but it beefens up the bag, makes it feel a little better. Uh, you know, it's, all, it's throughout the bag. I don't know why it's black here and then tan here. You know, 
but whatever. I know it's tan, so inside you can see the bags, stuff in the bag better, but I would have thought they would have carried that straight up. Uh, let's see. That's about it, guys. If you have any questions or something you want to know about the bag, I'll try and help you out. Uh, you know, just hit me up. Thanks a lot.